The cost of doing business in the world of electric car batteries is being debated tonight after the price to taxpayers was revealed to keep one project going. A deal between the federal and Ontario governments and automaker Stellantis will see the company get up to $15 billion for a plant in Windsor. As CTV's Kevin Gallagher reports, with so much competition for these jobs, it's tough to drive a hard bargain. Work resumed on this massive electric vehicle battery plant in Windsor after Stellantis shut down construction nearly two months ago. The auto manufacturing giant threatened to move it to the United States unless Canada matched massive green subsidies on offer from Washington. There is a window of opportunity. It's open now, but it's going to close. The world's big companies are making their investment decisions right now. Over the next decade, 15 billion taxpayer dollars in performance incentives are available for Stellantis and project partner LG Energy Solution. The federal and provincial funding is contingent on how many batteries are produced and sold. Basically, it's uh, tax credits. So if they don't make batteries, they don't get the tax credits. The battery plant in Windsor is expected to create 2,500 jobs and thousands of others along the supply chain. The spin-off of values on a battery plant are probably two or three jobs to one. As part of the deal, Ontario will provide a third of the funding to Stellantis and a third of the $13 billion Volkswagen battery deal for a factory in St. Thomas. While the federal government picks up the rest, saying the increased financial commitment is to compete with the U.S. I think both countries are making mistake, you know, paying so much. The government says the expense will turn Canada into a global EV player while leveraging vast reserves of critical minerals. The minerals itself are there. Uh, extracting and transporting them down here uh, is uh, not at all a, a done deal. Today, the Ontario government expressed interest in making more deals with automakers looking to go electric, Omar. But Ottawa has said its budget can only stretch so far. All right, Kevin Gallagher in Ottawa tonight. Kevin, thanks.